single matchup out of the entire lineup for him. No. So. If only Purple Drank started Warrior, that would have been uh, much, much better. But he's yeah. going to have to uh, will the storm here. And, well, like oh. you said, you said that Rogue is actually not that bad against Face Yeah, it's 50 right? 50. You're looking for backstab and a minion or prep a spell that's not backstab or sprint and a minion. So you just need to clear the board while developing your minions. The ways Rogue loses this matchup is when you get scared of getting hit in the face too much and then you forego developing a minion to just remove. If you always remove, you're always behind. So at some point, you have to commit to developing and taking a little bit of damage so that you can then clear and also hit them in the face with whatever you have on board. If you never have anything on board, you can never win. Good assessment of that. Uh, thank you for that. And uh, Forsen here, well, draws the one drop, so he could actually, you know, coin out the two and one. He could also choose the Animal Companion, but... Uh, the Animal Companion is really risky. It's really risky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's... If you don't get Huffer, oh! you're damaged. <laughs> damaged. Wow. What if you you're say? not, if you don't get Huffer, then they have just so many ways that they can remove it with like eviscerates and then right. backstab asides or whatever. And if they, then they don't have to develop a minion that turn while removing because they can just remove it and not be taking any damage that turn. Well, well, the piggy likes Force in here. I'm just gonna favor him a little bit here. So Force actually did spend his last turn doing oh, damage. Thanks. Gosh, double preps. This is not a matchup you want to ever have to prep sprint in. But I guess because you have two Adric in hand, you don't really have a choice. Yeah, this is really not good. We have the choppy choppy. Uh, another sprint. The eviscerate's <laughs> good. The SI is good. He can prep eviscerate Van Cleef next turn. Just try and get a big Edwin out there to start dealing damage. Uh huh. So you can trade right. with 3 1. Well, also, that's 15 health, a purple drink, so it's going to be very awkward. Yeah. This is really, really not good. Is this Maybe the prep you just... Inside turn? I mean, no, yeah, it's a prep, prep, uh, prep, eviscerate, and Edwin turn, right? You push for more damage overall. No, 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 no. It's like, it's like only 6, though. And that's your only removal spell in your hand, besides an SI7. So you have to be a bit greedier with it. Now you can prep eviscerate SI and Edwin this turn. So you prep eviscerate face SI the three one. Oh, and, uh, you are down to how much health though? Six right now. Six. Yeah. You're that's, dead. That's, it, Without a dead. heal, he's dead. He's dead. No oh, jeez. Wow. It's just that's too much dumb. damage. The piggy. The if piggy. the face hunter gets piggy against rogue, face hunter wins. On turn okay. three. It's the another piggy. one of those rules. Ah, oh, piggy, piggy. Why you gotta be messing us up? Yeah, if that was uh, Misha, for example, then Purple Drank would be alive this turn, and he would have set up lethal and won the game. Yeah. If it was well, Liak, same exact thing. So he had uh, probably 66% chance to win the game based on Forsen's line there. If Forsen would have went 2 and a 1 drop, I think Forsen's chance to win the game is a lot higher. Yeah. So, but he got the pig, so... <laughs> he got the pig! Get the pig and you win. Rogue had the... Rogue had the most favorable matchups out of any of the decks, so it's mm -hmm. good to start with it first, sure, but uh, Forsen just knew he was going to start with it first, I guess, since it had the most favorable matchups. Yeah. So Forsen and just I... assumed he would lead with it. Right. And of course, Forsen is going to anchor with his Druid, so if he wins this match, then his Druid is pretty much going to face against the Warrior at some point, so pretty important match for- oh my god! Purple Drake needs to win this matchup, and double Mech Warper is going to make it really tough. Oh, whoa, double Backstab! Double back. Pretty good against double mech warper. Yeah. So but. he's just gonna pass and he's gonna guarantee the value out of it and be able to double mech warper and play Anoyatron. Oh gosh. What a turn. Protecting his mech warpers. That is ridiculous. That, that is, is just <laughs> That's cancer. <laughs> That's pretty demoralizing, but you know what? Uh yeah. Pro can actually remove two of these creatures. Yeah. Oh, another backstab SI. Backstab SI to backstab SI is pretty darn good. Yeah, that's but what it's he needs to keep it. Oh man. Oh, that's gonna be close. The spider tank costs two now instead of one, so he can't spider tank frostbolt anymore, which is really good because that would be a terrifying turn. Force yeah, and draws a fairly dead card, so that's good. That's good for purple drag. Not good for force. Yeah, it's good for purple drag. <laughs> I'm rooting. I'm rooting for purple drag. He's my teammate. Uh, I, I, I'm the I'm the mediator here, I guess. Oh my gosh. I mean, I mean, come on! It, it, it can't be a one-sided cast, Firebat. All right, all right. Well, Firebat's really, or Fireball is really bad for Forsen. So it's <laughs> unfortunate for him. 
<laughs> All right. Well, Forsen does decide to do to go with the um, clear the frost bolt, and now another backstep SI. It's gonna clear yeah. the board free of mechs. No blast mage is gonna ruin the day for purple. All right. Looks like he's starting to recover from it, which is really good because if he loses this matchup, then at some point he's forced to face uh, Druid with his warrior, and that's not something you want to do ever. No. Nope. So. Ever. Ever. This is really bad. Oh, double mad sciences, huh? Interesting. Maybe he runs more secrets. Maybe he runs another copy of secret because that, otherwise that would be a kind of a uh, awkward. So, oh, that's a deadly blade flurry back to back. Those are cards you really need. That's gonna be <laughs> good for him. Man, what if there's a card they make that always sticks together, right? If you draw one, they, they automatically draw the other one. That could be pretty oh. cool. Yeah. That would be interesting. It'd mean you're only playing like 29 cards in your deck then, right? Well, no, you still have to draw the other one, right? I thought you said you draw one, then the other one automatically comes with no, it. No, the other one is automatically next draw, right? Oh, yeah, so you still have to draw it, but it's there's... Yeah, huh. that's pretty interesting. It is an interesting mechanic. Yeah. Blizzard, you listening? Okay, <laughs> Alright, what is he going to play into this entity, if anything? Can he... Uh, I mean, you definitely kill the math scientist first. Yeah, you kill the mad scientist first. He's just yeah. gonna clear the board then, huh? And, well, you can uh, first here on the on the Drake, I guess. I mean, it's kind of like. Otherwise, you just ping on the Drake, just dies. It's not really good. Yeah. Yeah, like it's because you already like kind of forced out the other mirror entity to uh, fizzle, so this is good. Wow, insta Lothab. Wow, that is like Whoa, one of the best huge. draws. <laughs> that is one of the best draws there. Wow. Really oh, good for him. God. He's trying oh, to push wow. the lethal now. The reverse Lothab is really solid pickup. Yep. But man, this Lothab is not going to go anywhere. It's going to deal 5 to the face. Well, you have to assume your opponent has a fireball in their hand by aggressively they're, how aggressively they're playing. Some sort of burn spell for sure. Really? So, or it can be a 7 drop, right? Yeah, some sort of burn spell or a 7 drop, I guess. Well, you're mm -hmm. fine with Dr. Boom, though, as long as the Drake survives. So if you take value trades and play Lothab, should be fine. Against okay. anything that your opponent could do, because you have the that six damage blade flurry with the as Drake puts it up to seven to even kill Doctor Boom. Yeah, I'd like to see the Drake go into one two, or then into three three. I would have liked to see Lothab there, but no Lothab. No, Chugga is not the card. Not really that guy just dies. So Forsen hey. is looking for he a is fireball. Committed. Yeah, he's committed to all inning here. I really like how Forsen made a plan, stuck to his plan, and is going to finish with his plan. I think it's okay. a really good way to play Hearthstone. Face, face, face. And what's coming out of this shredder? Is it a... Uh... Oh! Whirling Zapomatic! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's a lot of damage, it, it, especially if the oil bounces. I mean, oh he might even threaten lethal next turn. So Fireball, Forsen has one draw, and one draw only is Fireball. Yeah, and Purple Drake has exactly enough mana to Lothab and Tinker Oil next turn. Ah, no, that's, that's not drop. That is not the one you're looking for. Alright, so and is that enough? If the, what if the Oil misses? If the Oil goes on Lothab, what happens? And then we wait a turn and then we win again. He didn't fireball preemptively. He doesn't have enough damage. That's anymore. good! That's enough. That's a lot of wheeze! And that is good. The oil bounced to the right minion, and Purple Drake takes a game. That was still a lot of pressure from Forsen. His first game in the tournament. I'm so oh. proud of him. His very first win in tournament play. In, ever, right? Because ever. I think this is Purple Drake's big, uh, well, first major favorite against Mech Mage, so he could win that one. And then the Mage Mirror is coin flippy if it's both Mech Mage, and if it's Freeze Mage, then Purple Drake's still favored in the series, even if he loses this matchup. Okay. So there's still hope. Still hope. <laughs> That oh, start that Forsen. is a very good hand, Forsen. Very I think he's taking he's taking lessons from Tice from that first game, yeah. <laughs> learning how to draw that wild growth and that innervate, and even the ancient allure, which you really need with wild growth and innervate because wild growth and innervate. Oh. Wow, oh. ridiculous! What a hand. And if he didn't have the ancient allure, this wouldn't actually be that good though, because you have to use um, your cards you basically card. for mana gain, gain, and then you run out of cards. But now with yeah. Ancient Allure, you're going to use your cards for mana gain, and then you're just going to get more cards back. Oh, man. Ridiculous. And we're going to see Doomsayer the Doomsayer. It's actually going to be completely useless here. Not that Pro Junk has really anything to do, I guess, but still. 
Yeah. Ooh, it's you gonna be tough. Oh, clappy clappy goes purple drink. Yeah, normally people uh, play minions, but Fortune doesn't <laughs> have to. He's got the double wild growth dream. Oh, Doomsayer just doomed itself, and now it's uh, purple drink's uh, third turn. Armor stuff is gonna come down. Yeah, looking at coin belcher next turn probably. And then the innervate only gets one value here, but it's definitely worth it because you have no alternative place. Well, you wild growth already, right? So yeah, that's always gonna stick there. Shade and Shredder. That's a perfect turn seven. Yeah, that's Echo really Double drink. Uh, oh, it's gonna have to execute this. Wow. Yeah, Save you don't really want to play Belcher into it because then the Belcher just dies pretty much yeah. for free. You're not really have any weapons right now. And oh my god. Horsons turn seven. Pretty he's, sick. Pretty sick. And he's already got the combo too, so he's gonna be able to push a lot of tempo based on his crazy mana start and then combo him down at the end of that. <laughs> Ridiculous. Huh? Designed to accomplish. Well, uh, this Belcher is going to be a little bit of a temporary problem for Forsen because it is hiding behind an armor strip and you know usually that does really, really well. What is this gonna bring out? Oh, <laughs> Oh my god, wait, do you win now? He could have no, comboed him that turn. <laughs> yeah, I could have comboed, that's insane. Yeah. yeah this well, play's not terrible. The There's also parts. possibility for him to just Druid Roar, which breaks up the combo pieces, but would have played a, like gotten a lot more tempo on the board, pushed more damage, put a lot more pressure on the board. If he just put Druid of the Claw in charge mode and roared this turn instead of trading off the Shredder and stuff. Okay. Uh, whoa, killing the shade as well. Because you have a 3 2. I actually like that attack. Two, three, twos. Yeah, if you Wait. have a 3 2 already, just might as well review the other 3 2. Because if they kill one, they can't really kill the other, right? Or that's the plan, anyways. But nope. Purple Chain yeah. is going to full sweep the board here. Everything get out of my face. Get that cat out. That cat out. <laughs> yeah. That cat out. Oh, has to leave the girl alive, unfortunately, but... Yeah. He has tons of armor, though, so he's able to just kill any big minion that comes out next. Mm, oh. Sylvanas, not terrific on this board, unless you trade, oh. I guess. Even if you trade, though, then you just, like, any weapon draw is going to be able to kill Sylvanas for free without yeah. its mind control effect taking any relevance. Usually you want to play Sylvanas when you're behind on board, or you can lock them out by hiding it behind a taunt. Sure. But man, I don't know. Forsen's hand has five cards, and Purple Truck has two cards, and this is kind of rare, going coming from like a Rapture that Rob grove two turns. Yeah, that's an Ancient Allure. So good against Warrior. So Purple Drink is looking to find any weapon in his deck right now. Any weapon? He is running any five. Weapon. He's running five. Oh, there we go. That's that's a weapon. That's a card. He's still in it. He still has to trade off his board though. Right, of course. But you do set up the uh, death by charge, which is uh, yeah. pretty important. And you still have armor for shield slam, and you dealt with Sylvanas, which can often be a huge problem for Warrior. Oh wow, that's actually a bad draw for Forcing. I mean, what he yeah. wants right now is minions, so not yeah. the best. That's just going to be off, shield slammed. Yeah, chipping off the one armor doesn't really do much, so if Permadrain draws a legendary here or something like that... Shield Maiden would have been like the best mm. draw. Oh yeah, Shield Maiden would be best, but Grom's going to be... Can't come into play yet, so it's not that fortunate of a top deck. Belcher, Shield Maiden, some sort of mid-range creature that he could play while shield slamming that would have been fantastic. Ucenarius! Oh! That is a huge draw off the top there for Forsen. No, it's, it's like actually huge because it's like big, you know? Yeah. yeah. They're really good. He's gonna have the big game hunter to respond to this, or possibly even just the combo to kill him. Oh, he's oh, gonna wow. coin okay. armor. Armor. Oh man, that sucks. And he's oh, gonna... Scenarius decides he want, he's he's done taking a break, but man, BGH. Yeah, that's really unfortunate for Purple Drank here. Yeah. I actually want to see a Savage Road played here. Yeah, looks good. Let's set up yeah. for Leaf next turn. Definitely. That doesn't look really good for Purple right now. He needs. I don't even know what he needs. What does he need? Like a brawl. Maybe he needs a drink. Uh. Belcher's not going to be able to cut it. I can take the hit. Nope, can't take the hit this time, Shield Maiden. And uh, Forsen's going to uh, yeah take this game with, uh, yeah. quite frankly, some busted draws. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. A little bit but. busted with double of uh, Wild Growth opening. I don't, do you even need a count? I mean, you have a million damage. 
Yeah. Right? Is this a million? 14, 21, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. That's a million damage. Yeah, about a million. Yep. Yeah, you just round up to a million. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. All right, well, um, Purple Giant Chaos still ha Well, actually, at, at least the Druid is out of the picture, right? So, yeah. Warrior against Mech Mage. You know, it's 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 a matchup you can win. Uh, Purple Junk didn't really win the lineup. Popular deck because it's so hard to design a lineup to counter it, just because it can do Mech Mage things. And we are gonna see the Freeze Mage come out. Okay. And Forsen is uh, basically Dragon Invisibility Potion or something. Yeah, he's probably on the toilet or something. Okay. Good. Well, you better come back from this mulligan because this is not a starting hand you want. Yeah. If he gets this starting hand, he's gonna be struggling. Unless he top decks very, very well. Uh, oh. Um, is uh -oh. he coming back? Forsen? Is I he mean, okay? you did, we didn't force you to start the game. You kind of started the game yourself. Yeah, he did hit the go button, so he was, uh, he was committed. Uh, Maybe one uh, of his fans ambushed him or something. No, don't oh. ambush Forsen. Oh. I missed the mulligan. Is he alive? Can we get a. Should we call Wait, somebody? What, he mulliganed? He mulliganed. He's a ghost. He is invisible. Magic Amy force. Oh, no, no, no. He mulliganed before going AFK. Oh, and just we couldn't see it. Okay, it, it the spectator mode didn't show it, right? Obviously. All right, all right. He's all bad. right, all right. Okay, force is not a ghost, guys. I'm not so sure. He might still be a ghost. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, well the starting hand is much better. That Cogmaster. Fairly good. If he's able to get one of the two drops, which Mech Mage usually runs like 11 or 12 two drops, then uh, he can start potentially clocking away some damage. Mm -hmm. No okay. two drops is really sad. Pretty bad against a Freeze Mage, yo. He has no idea if Purple Drank is Freeze Mage or Mech Mage. That's true. Because coined out the Scientist, which doesn't give away any information. Uh huh. But now, oh, this one's going to give away this some information, is, don't you think? Yeah, this is going to let him know for sure. And the scientist is going to trade. He's looking to get barrier, even though he's already got a barrier in his hand. You want to get ice block later, as late as possible in the game. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, your next turn is going to be Acolyte Pain anyways. Yeah. Oh. Right. I'd like to see the two damage go into the spider tank here, just in case Blast Mage. Okay. But, uh, yeah. No blast. We go face with it, very greedy. Uh, that is quite greedy, actually, now that you think uh, say it. Yeah, because it's a lot harder to kill it if he throws down the Blast Mage. You don't really yep. have the tools in your hand for a long time to be able to deal with it. Yep. Here is an Entomb. Freezing the Loot Hoarder. Oh, wow. You can oh. Ice Lance your Loot Hoarder for his card draw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is really greedy by forcing letting the Freeze Mage get draws there instead of using yep. the Spider Tank to kill the Acolyte. He's really prioritizing the damage. But it makes sense with the Lothab in hand. It does. Just go face, face, face. Yeah. So. Okay, it's like strong. Yeah, Frost Purple Drink's gonna use the Frost over here. He sees how aggressive Forsen's playing. He's gotta be expecting some sort of Lothab play. Okay. Like, you well, can't it does... not be expecting it. Yeah, it saves, t uh, what, 10 damage for Frost Nova? So now your block is, uh,. I mean, I, I wouldn't say safe, but... Uh, yeah, you're still in trouble. But you're going to be able to get a barrier off the Scientist. Should have yeah. ran in the Scientist before the uh, Acolyte, just to make sure you can't draw the barrier. So a slight That's misplay true. there. If he would have drawn the barrier, he would have been very, very sad. <laughs> he would have yeah. missed out on 8 life gain. Antonitis is going to come down and just keep on the pressure. This is normally a really heavy Freeze Mage favored matchup, but uh, this start from... Forsen is crazy strong. Lothab into Antonitis is the dream for uh, Mech Mage because now you can't freeze the board and also deal with the Antonitis. Yep, there's no way you can do that. And of course, double fireball to the face. Well, I mean, double fire fireball to the face doesn't really plop, pop your block or anything, but. He's got two more hard. fireballs to follow up, though. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Mm. Alright, Forsen's so gonna come down here. Ice Lance. Not gonna kill off the Antonitis, unfortunately, but gonna deal some damage at least. Yeah. So, Set it up to dies to a ping, I guess. Don't see don't see anything different uh, other than fireball fireball. Yeah. 
Fireball, fireball. So he's gonna have one fireball left in his hand after this? Yeah. And after Flame Strike, the fireball is gonna proc the ice block. So I guess Purple Drank actually needs to win this with like Alexstrasza on his own face. Yeah, he needs to Alexstrasza on his own face, stabilize and allow Alexstrasza to connect a few times. Which is fine because Mech Mage doesn't have a way to answer Alexstrasza really. Like, they can put taunts in the way and stuff. But uh, yeah. you need to draw Alexstrasza for 9 first off. Which is going to be is the tricky Is actually playing something else? I wouldn't, I just want to, I don't like uh, anything else here. You can play the Mirror Entity, but I really don't like playing the Mirror Entity. Because oh. it's going to give you the same amount of damage as just fireballing now. But uh, the problem is, uh, they can just play Doomsayer then to clear your board. And they have like right. Doomsayer and then into play Secrets and stuff. So you give them a 2 mana board clear option. Yeah, like if he would have played it, the mirror entity there, which he was thinking about, he's, Purple Giant would have been able to play Doomsayer and then play Ice Barrier and Ice Block. Yeah, and then the game would have been over. Yeah, the game would have been uh, much different. Yeah. Whereas now he has to actually deal with the board. Well, Blue's just going to come down here, and a uh, Doomsayer is going to prevent the board from uh, pretty much more developing more. Yeah, so now he's relying on. He has to top deck Alex Straza here, otherwise, he's going to have a really hard time winning this game. Right. Not with the mad scientist triggering a uh, mirror entity as well. That's going to be a bit annoying. And of course, you should ping first before you fireball, just to get your opponent down lower as low as possible. Yeah, you got to ping fireball, and then he's going to have the uh, mirror entity up to copy the Alexstrasza, which is huge. That's pretty if good. If Alexstrasza comes. Oh. So now. Hmm. Forsen still has one Fireball in his deck and two Frostbolts. One Fireball, two Frostbolts, and also Blast Mages, right? Blast Mages too. Yeah, they can get the lethal in. Yep. And just pinging over three turns. Yeah, so Purple Drink is naturally on the three turn clock right now. Yeah. Oh! Healbot! That is a huge draw off the top there for Purple Drink. That is, that is the tech card. That's the tech card. Very nice. I like that card, but does Purple Drink... It, but he knows that there's a Mirror Entity up right now, so... Yeah. Heal Bot is gives... special healing for 5, I guess? I, I mean, you can heal for 5 just to get out of the range of where... Uh, I mean, it heals for 8, and then you put the barrier up that heals for another 8. Oh yeah, you're right! Oh See, wow, that's actually really good then! Then they can't hit you in the face if you have the barrier up. So it gets you out of the range of where they can just kill you with straight burn. Okay. So that now they have to for commit to attacking you, so Ice Barrier actually gets value. Wow, he's being really oh, greedy here. Oh, very greedy. That is really greedy. And he's going to put up Ice Block, Ice Barrier, I guess? Okay. Yeah, I mean, painting the face doesn't really do much now, does it? Oh, wow. Wow, he's not even putting up Barrier. No, fish. Oh, Thanos is actually... Oh, wow. Those are so that is so greedy. Oh, now man. That's going to get popped. Oh, no, that's going to get punished. Yeah, that's, what is with this well, greed? That's, that's going to be punished. So oh, much greed. Oh, just too much greed. Yeah, oh. I would have liked to see him play it a little safer there. No. Just avoid getting popped. But at least, at least Purple Drunk right now has like a, uh, what is it? Anti Cube uh, Frost Nova turn. Yeah, Anti Cube Frost Nova, really good. Unless for Force and Top Deck something good, all he's stuck is with this Mirror Entity in his hand. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's gonna play it. And then you could just ping off the Divine Shield, maybe. No, he's gonna yeah. he's set up the Thalnos, which is the same thing as pinging off the Divine Shield, as long as Blast Mage doesn't come. Yeah, I, I like the Frost Nova here, though. That's really yeah, the Frost good. Nova is Oh, Azric is an insane draw right now. Wow, that's exactly what he's looking for. Either the Dr. Boom or the Azric were the like only good cards left in his deck. Wait, what did Azric draw? The, we can't see what the Azric drew. Oh, oh, Spectator Mode. I think Force is playing too fast. He's just playing cards before they're drawn. Yeah, so, so then they bug out. Yeah, I kind of stuck it like that. Uh, also, did the Thalanos get hero powered? We saw the hero power shoot, and the hero power is on cooldown now, and it can't be used till next turn. But the Thalanos is still alive. We may need to rejoin the game because it looks bugged. Yeah, it looks bugged from this end. Wait, what? What's happening? Yeah, I think it might be for grabs either way. Like, all right, I, so here we, we go. We missed a turn. Yep. And second well, fireball is drawn. He has Antonitis. He's got the barrier still. To extend no, his life a little bit longer. So... Doomsayer. 
Oh, Doomsayer is also good here. Yeah, Doomsayer is not bad. It prevents any big threats from being played for a turn. So we're oh, gonna see the greedy still. play. Purple Drake is Purple a very Drake? greedy player. Oh, this is a fine. I think this is fine. Yeah. What? What's so greedy? That's, that's perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's fine. Oh, the worst top deck ever! Yeah, that is the worst possible draw in his deck. Alright. Let's see it come down. And it looks like uh, the Freeze Mage is made of stabilized. Just because of the anti heal bot. Alright. The anti heal bot just saved the game. Wait, wait, it's not over yet though. Forsen is committing to uh, pinging the face twice and then uh, fireballing. Alex Drazla off the top oh, though. Oh, oh, Alex. Oh, almost! <gasps> fatigue! Yeah, fatigue could kill him too. How many cards oh. left does he have? He has always out of cards, so one card left in the deck. One card left in the deck? Yeah, That's but Forsen, really... Forsen can't kill him with any draw off the top. So then he's no, set he up can't. lethal Fire... for himself. Oh, Fireball, no, Fireball kill. Oh, wait, no, he doesn't, no. No, it doesn't. He's got the barrier. Oh, oh, so that's it. That's it. That's the game. Wow, that was so close. Wait, yeah. is this? No, 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 that's not gonna work. Wow. That is it. Yeah, well Earth played by... Uh... Yeah, that, that anti-kill bot. Yeah, anti killbot tech was able to save him there, and well played by him, uh, being a little greedy when he needed to be greedy. Like, you're in a disadvantaged wow. position, if you just play safe, maybe you lose. So you, he took risks where he needed to take risks and was able to climb out on top. I don't agree with all of his plays. Taskmaster and, uh, plus BGH is really good against Lothab, but not now. <laughs> yeah, Lothab doesn't come out turn one. <laughs> yeah, it does not, I'm afraid. What do you mean you're afraid? That would be horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that would be horrible? Oh. If really? Lothab cost one, what are you talking about? Oh, well, it does happen sometimes. Innovate, innovate Lothab, right? Yeah, and it's horrible. I don't like that at all. Five damage, six win, six turn win, right? Six turn clock. Boom. That's no fun. No fun. That's just no fun. It's no fun. All, all right, right, full mulligan, full mulligan. Oh, he keeps the Taskmaster. Oh, and we get the Doomsayer. And of course, oh wow, Forsen's hand is looking pretty bad. Yeah, Forsen's hand is bad. We may not even need the Doomsayer because he has a. Uh, the Coin Cruel Taskmaster potentially just to kill the Clockwork Gnome. Mm -hmm. See okay. if he goes with that option or if he holds out for the Doomsayer. Yeah, he's Coin. just going to oh. take the tempo where he's got it. No take reason it. to play Doomsayer. Sure. Forsen needs a two drop really badly or it's going to be a ping pass. No! Ping pass, that is a sad day. Not only is that sad, is that Forsen does not have a three drop as well. And he's pinged the 2-2, which shows that he probably doesn't have a 3-drop there. Because if you ping face, then you probably have a 3-drop, and you think that your 3-drop's just going to trade with it. Whereas if you ping the 2-2, you're committing to pinging again the next turn. Wow, that hand. Well, I mean, he he has Shredders, though. Shredders, shredders are, are good against... Good. They're good against Warrior. And right, they're but, pretty good. Yeah. I mean, a bit of a slow start, but you can still try and take this grindy and have a chance. Mm-hmm. Now, Purple Drank obviously wants... Oh, that's good. So if a one yeah. attack, one health minion drops out of the Shredder, it's going to be pretty big. And the Doomsayer is definitely coming down this turn. Really? Just stops Forsen's turn completely. Oh. Nope. Oh. Uh, no. I mean, saving yeah. for mirror entities doesn't se seems like it's really, really good, right? No? If Forsen's already seen it, he's never going to play a mirror entity. Oh. Oh, man. Mech Warper. That's a card. Yeah, Mech Warper's huge. See, if the Doomsayer came down, he couldn't have done this. But he has the reversing switch, actually. It just insta-kills oh. Doomsayer. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, my God. Good thing he didn't play the Doomsayer. He's got to save it from your entity now. <laughs> yeah, that's oh the only God. way he can profit, right? Yeah, that is a reversing switch. That is oh, killer. Shield. Looks like he's going to armor shield slam the 2-2, maybe. Or he's just going to drop Belcher and then axe the 2-2. I don't know why he didn't bounce Wait, the Acolyte he... for the 2-3. Wait, what? Oh. Why are you leaving Mech Warper up? That's kind of weird. Yeah, now he's going to get another Mech Warper for one mana. Well, that's not going to improve anything, to be honest, I guess, but... Still. Yeah, still so that, that you, was... You don't, good. you don't kill the other... You, you bounce up <laughs> the other one. You kill a guy that doesn't have an effect, right? Yeah, this makes no sense at all. Well, uh, over at Force Inside, uh, Blast Mage seems pretty decent here. You only need one hit of the Belcher. Um, yeah. I mean, is it really that hard to get one hit on the Belcher? He could reversing switch and try and get three on it, but then he's not playing around the Doomsayer. Maybe he doesn't know about the Doomsayer attack. Maybe he wasn't oh. watching the earlier matches. Yeah, maybe he was busy being invisible. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just extra burn because you get to punish him for 
not uh, killing the mech warper there. Mm -hmm. so oh, wow. going for the, the blast mage. He's used to reducing switch. Doomsayer is back on the table. Is good value. Oh, only hits once. It still gets a good trade here, I guess. Yeah, it's still not bad. Oh no, I, I feel like uh, Proposal's uh, hand is actually not that bad here. Not the worst. It's not the worst, not the greatest. It has greatest. potential. Ah, uh, if only this spell was strong. Yeah. Now yeah. he's got to deal with these seven drops and both shield slams have been used. So he's going to have to gore howl down Dr. Boom, potentially? Well, it didn't really work out for him last time. He, he had to gore howl <laughs> Dr. Boom. Hey, yeah, he just... died that time. So oh, Execute off the oh, top! Oh, that's, uh, that's Top a decking and wrecking. It's breather. Wow, that is so un unlucky for Forsen. Like, the chances of him having double shield slam and execute at this point in the game are ridiculously low. Mm. So I feel pretty bad for Forsen right now. Purple Giant got pretty lucky there. Okay. But uh, still ahead for Forsen. He still has board. Lots of pressure with two boom bots. He's, yeah. uh, he's probably going to drop Adric and Aspire Tank if he doesn't drop better. Uh, ooh. Eh. All he needs to do is, like, not play Mirror Entity. So if he draws Mirror Entity, <laughs> just don't play it. Oh, mad scientist! That's a trap. Yeah, that is definitely a trap. He cannot get an entity out. Yep. Well, at the same time, Antonis doesn't really have any spare parts to proc off with. But Purple Jerk is at 18 health. B uh, BJ's kind of late there, so it's not going to yeah. really work out. Definitely so what do you do at this turn? Uh, probably just, just act down spark. the edge. Break. Whack the Azure Drake and then Shield Maiden armor. What if you Doomsayer so that the Doomsayer can absorb some of the bomb hits, whack the Ezra Drake? Oh, that's Belcher. actually pretty good. And then play Shield Maiden, yeah? No, no, just play Belcher to try and protect the Doomsayer to kill everything. Oh. Gets a lot of value killing things. And if it goes off, then your opponent can't play any minions on their turn. So even mm -hmm. though you're trading away your Belcher, you get to kill nine mana worth of tempo from you know that. That's actually a very good play. I like it. I would like to see it. So, not only does it absorb Boombot hits, but, yeah, he's going to go with it here. And it's, I think it's Belcher over Shield Maiden for sure. Okay. See what happens here. And, uh... and it absorbs oh, one damage. Oh, four damage to the face. We yeah, the four see. damage to the face hurts, but, okay, yeah, but... Forsen has no turn here. Well, I guess you can uh, sacrifice the Shredder. Wait, no, you don't. No, you don't. He sacrifices no. the Mad Scientist here to get his Entity. Though, ah, because yeah, uh, that would be a good play. There's no reason not to. You've seen the Doomsayer already. What so if get two? that guy out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what oh. if there's two? All right, and now Purple Drag needs to top deck Zombie Chow. No, yeah, Zombie Chow will actually heal him. That's that's pretty um clutch. Yeah. Shredder is gonna drop off a Shadow Boxer. Oh, wow. entity. That's really good and allows that guy to trade up with that. And then he can finish off with War Axe and develop Lothab. That is a turn. That is a really good turn. Um, Fireball doesn't kill him because Lothab's been played. So, yeah. Actually, you know what? If there's a Fireball, wouldn't the Doomsayer got Fireball? No, sometimes you can save it for the phase. But okay. Depends what his other cards in his hands. Like, if he has little minions that he can develop the board and clear the Doomsire, maybe. But then you gotta worry about possibly, like, brawl at that point. Because then if you use your burn and then they brawl, then you have no win condition anymore. So Fireball's Wait, drawn and it's one off lethal because of the. Uh, oh my god. The Lothab. But now the. the yeah, the Ooze could have attacked there because Doomsayer activates on your turn and it counts as a summon. So, unfortunately, the Ooze is gonna get uh, pinged off here. And uh, Antonitis is gonna. Uh, uh, no, Antonitis wow, is not. Wow, no Antonitis. You've seen two shield slams and one execute. Yeah, Antonitis would have been the right play there, I think. Yeah, pushes a lot of face damage to Antonitis, but uh, it's not really gonna matter at this point. Is it not? Shield Maiden. Instant. Yeah, Shield Maiden. Maybe he can come back. Yeah, it's a lot of health. It's 11. 11. It's so, 11. You, that's do you, one uh, off. Uh, yeah. Wait, 3 plus 6 plus 1. So even if you draw a mech, it's one off. Yeah, he needed Oh, fireball. wow. That's no draw. That's a, that's, that's a, that's a blank. Yeah, I really would have liked to see Antonitis this turn. The turn earlier for uh, The turn before, yeah? Yeah, you've I mean, seen... Purple could have killed it. 
Yeah, you couldn't have killed. You've seen two shield slams and an execute. Like, what's it dying to? <laughs> oh my god. That so, might have been... That's going to cost force in the game. Maybe. So what do you do here, though? Okay, just like... Just play Antonetis now? What to do? Well, now it dies on board for free. <laughs> well, I mean... Okay, then what do you do? TTT I... is... Aww. Well... Um, cry? I don't know, that's a... Well, I think he's doing that right now, but what do you do in the board, Firebat? <laughs> you just... He needs to go invisible again. That'll, <laughs> that'll give him the answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah, I don't see it. I... Um, double minion? No, that's not good. Well, you can... Uh, fire Force is still top like a fireball when the game, right? Yeah. Oh. So, if you're gonna do that, you might as well drop the TTT. Or do yeah. you? You could have dropped the TTT <laughs> and the Antonitis. Then oh, yeah. just like the, the TTT is gonna stick because they have to kill the Antonitis with the two minions. Could've oh, worked. boy, in one direction. I mean, it's armor anyways. You have to go through that anyways, yeah? So, that makes sense. Zomb- Oh, a bit late on the zombie chow. Yeah, everything has been a bit late for Brook. But he's gonna keep both his minions alive. He's gonna armor up and probably just extend the board fully. Just drop every yeah, single drop. minion. Drop every. No, don't drop. The you're board not now. gonna. You're not gonna gore howl <laughs> anything besides the face. So don't play gore howl. All right. Like, well, fireball ends the game. Forsen has one card out of I don't know, fifteen. One out of fifteen. No, that's not it. Yeah. And is this lethal for purple Jack next turn? <laughs> Look at purple Jack. He's praying. Nineteen. <laughs> yeah, that's exact it? lethal. Fifteen plus four. Nineteen twenty-six. Yeah. Wow. Set up is going to just clutch it out, and Forsen unfortunately is going to drop out once again on day one without a single series win. And Doomsayer won the game. You think Doomsayer won the game? Yeah, that uh, Death Bite Belt, or uh, Doomsayer Death Bite hit Belcher play stopped yeah. Forsen from being able to set up his Antonitis. And oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, Forsen should have kept the reversing switch for the Doomsayer. I don't know why he. The only reason I can think of why he wouldn't do that is if he didn't watch the VODs earlier. Yeah. Or the matches earlier to know that there was a Doomsayer. Alright. Well, I mean, there was also a thing where Forsen really should have played the Antonitis the turn. Okay. Yeah, and he misplayed yeah. the Antonitis. Yeah. I think that was the major I think, uh, The other ones, there is arguable, but yeah, that one was kind of bad. And so...